Notre Dame joins the ACC, kind of. I'm Stephen Levine in the Sporting News studio with Tom Vandervoort on the end. And Sporting News College basketball editor Barry Reeves here mm -hmm. to bring us his expertise. Now, I grew up in Charlottesville, Virginia. Mm. Long time ACC fan. Yeah. When I first heard this, I was outraged. How dare <laughs> they hold out football? So why, as an ACC fan, do I need to step back off the ledge and embrace this move? Well, it's probably going to mean a lot of uh, easy victories for your basketball team. So <laughs> well, Virginia, you know, we're talking Virginia. Well, here. maybe not as much for Virginia, but <laughs> certainly for North Carolina and Duke. What the ACC is getting uh, is that it's sort of like getting a Whopper without the beef. I mean, getting <laughs> getting Notre Dame without football is then you're getting a bunch of mediocre, medium-level programs. Really, women's basketball is probably their only marquee program you're getting as far as going to raise the level Pretty of competition. Good lacrosse team. Pretty good, good lacrosse. lacrosse team. Okay, I'm unfamiliar with their lacrosse program, but Pretty good lacrosse team. <laughs> but basketball. You know, this is a program that has one Sweet 16 appearance in the last 25 years. One. It has made five of the last six NCAA tournaments, but it's lost to Xavier, Florida State, Old Dominion, Washington State, and Winthrop. And then the other year, it missed the tournament. So you're not exactly improving the competitive balance of, you know, in the ACC. So as a basketball fan, this does nothing. But you are getting a marquee name as far as an institution goes. And so is that worth something to, to the ACC as a basketball? But mm -hmm. I, I think football still seems to me to be mm -hmm. – a focus of this move because you are getting games. They're not a member of the conference, but yeah. you're getting five games a year against Notre Dame. Yeah, well, you're getting five games a year against Notre Dame, which will help your schools on their individual TV contracts, but they're not getting them in the conference. So it doesn't have a dramatic impact on their right. contracts with ESPN. And so, you know, while it enhances their position somewhat, but you know, any of those schools that are playing Notre Dame are not going to be playing another marquee team. So when if Florida State's turn comes around, Florida State probably doesn't play Florida that year. So how does that really help yeah. Florida State's football schedule? So it still mm -hmm. seems to me, I mean, in this conversation, that it's a pretty lopsided deal in Notre Dame's favor. I mm -hmm. guess the one thing you can say is, well, the ACC, their academic standards are in a line mm -hmm. with Notre Dame's academic right. standards. Yeah. And did, maybe they see Notre Dame as an up-and-coming basketball program? Uh, not so much. N not so much. Certainly, you know, Mike Bray has certainly got the, got the program at a, at a, you know, it's at a plateau right now. It hasn't gone up in 10 years. You know, it's been sitting there in a medium level, you know, bubble team, make the tournament, lose on the first weekend. That's where the program is right now. But my gosh, there are two or three teams in the Atlantic 10 that are much better than Notre Dame. There are a couple of teams in the Colonial that are better than Notre Dame right now as a program. And so you're not going to see, you know, the needle's not going to be moved there. So what does really the ACC get here? They get a little brand awareness, but that's about it. It's interesting, too, because to me, Notre Dame is one of those schools, and a little bit like UVA, where you think, man, this school could... Mm -hmm. Should maybe even yeah. be a basketball, if not powerhouse, like a yeah. consistent top tier contender, and they just never quite get there, even though they've had their moments. Well, the problem with the problem with Notre Dame, and, and certainly for basketball, football at least they can sell the tradition. Basketball, you've got winters in South Bend, Indiana, and that there that and is Kelly no way Tribuca. to recruit. Now that's tradition. Baby. <laughs> Digger Phelps, baby, <laughs> Digger Phelps. It's been since 1978 was their last time to the Final Four. Uh. So it's been a while. I wonder, too, if this has something to do with positioning the ACC to get, like, maybe Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Seeing the Big East just weaken, you know, on a daily basis. They're on life support now. Is the ACC just trying to set themselves up to be even more of a basketball juggernaut? I'm not sure if it's, it's about being, becoming a basketball juggernaut. It's about maintaining their foothold and making sure that if this goes to four conferences, get access to the national championship game in football, that they're one of the four. I don't think they're worried about getting to be number one or anything else. It's about, you know, like they did last year when they poached Pittsburgh and Syracuse. Mm -hmm. It was about protecting them themselves from the back end. And what we also saw in today's announcement is that they've ratcheted up their buyouts now for all schools leaving the ACC. It's now a $50 million check you have to write. Because Clemson was sniffing around the SEC is what we heard. Well, and Clemson Florida and Florida State. State has been considered. You know, the Big 12 was probably more realistic than the SEC for those two schools, but, you know, this pretty much cements them. Once they sign on that dotted line, it's over. I mean, they're, that, you know, $50 million is a big check. Writing a, you know, a school writing a $5 million check, that's not that big a deal. Right. 
you add a zero, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah, for such a little number, <laughs> it carries a lot of yeah. weight. All right, well, there's going to be more to this story as it develops, and we'll, we'll be back in studio with more information when we have it. For Tom Vanderbord and Barry Reeves, I'm Stephen Levine. Thanks for watching. Thanks.